programming video for the DM1701 digital dual time slot P25 packet radio. This is fully digital capable. Can do like 45 miles with this walkie talkie in digital mode. This is how you program it with the FTDI cable. This is a specific cable for this radio. So, oh, I'm getting something. Make sure it's on time slot A, and it is highlighted at the bottom, so... Then you download this software right here. If you have presets, load them. This is CPS programming software. It works with that dongle thing that's connected to the radio. If you own or program a TYT radio, the programming software it looks the same. It operates the same. There's your zones and channels, digital. So you click on your channel and it brings up your information and you can add or change things and stuff like that. Add lists, scan channel lists, button definitions. Um, radio general settings, you program the radio with this. Um, CPS is the software, it's pretty cool. So once you have everything connected to your computer and the radio is on on time slot 2, hit program read or if you're in the program already just hit control R and press the space bar and you'll see your walkie talkie light up we'll say program mode and we'll say read data su uh, success and it shows your radio right there There you go, there's your uh, programs. And with this you can change your designations and even get marine band. So that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Pretty cool right there. Um, interesting. Anyway, uh, this is how you program this radio specific to this radio. It's made by Radioddity. It's the RD1 firmware running on a Baofeng DM1701, which is basically the guts are made by Radioddity, I guess. It's a nice, very large, powerful handheld. It's got a lot of output power. Um, backlit keyboards. Uh, programmable I got all my channels in there. All the stuff. Digital Brandmeister network. So this is what I use to scan the networks usually with this uh, radio. But um, this is how you program it with CPS. If you'd like a quick tutorial on how to create a new channel. So you highlight channel information, right click, and it'll say add, then you scroll down and you'll see the new channel. It's just going to say channel 1. You click on it and this pops up. You program the radio to operate in digital P25 packet mode or analog FM. You can type a channel name, like, uh, let's just type my YouTube channel for, for shits and giggles. Tech Baron and you know like one four five dot six fifty and then you copy and paste and you can change parameters all throughout here like if you want this to be a listen only station you can hit that um, change your power output, you can do uh, bandwidth selection. Uh, offset is something that I'm still not finding anywhere. So, I don't know. 
I don't know how to put in frequency offsets. Um, you know. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and then if you want, you can change VFO modes. Which is this. And you can change your frequency step for scanning. 25k frequency step. Analog. Uh, CTSS. Maybe I'll get like offsets down here or something. Nope. Hmm. That's a, a really big issue. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I don't see offset for the frequency, like plus 200 or minus offset or whatever. That's a big ass deal. So I don't really know what the hell is going on. Um, but you can do your digital tone code squelch encoded in a digital coded squelch. You can do receive and transmit decoding code. And, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty freaking crazy. And then once you're done, you update your lists by pressing the save button. And then once you want to, when you want to push this to your radio when you're done programming shit, like I just created a new channel, so I have to add this to my zones. I gotta click zone and then add that to your both your zones you add and then if you want it on your scanner you add that in your scanner area and then you go back to your TX frequencies make sure everything looks okay put it for medium power and then you click the red button or you can click right and then as soon as you do that just get a Click the OK and watch the radio. You'll see it begin to program it. And it programs a, a 2 megabyte EEPROM in there. So it's actually pushing a fair amount of data to it using a serial FTDI connection. So once that's done pushing the 45 blocks of data to the EEPROM chip sends back the act saying OK and then it releases control of the radio and then you have just bench flashed your DMR radio it just says write OK and it should be good and on a DM1701 this is how you scroll through your programmed channels or channel mode so you uh, rotate that knob until you see my freaking YouTube channel somewhere in there and I programmed it for medium power there it is shows up as medium power Cool. And you can transmit to it and everything. And A is for analog, and the capital D is for P25 digital mode. So and you have privacy open or group. So CPS and yeah this is a really kind of a shitty software so it's very 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 like I don't know how to describe it it's very in depth and it's kind of kludgy and it, it doesn't know how to append data so if you like edit stuff it doesn't know how to like append it if you click and edit other things it's just chirp is much better for this but this chipset doesn't support programming with chirp so you're stuck using CPS on a DM1701 um, but you got pretty fairly low level hardware control over the, the hardware so it's pretty neat um, it's Tech Baron with a quick 10 minute tutorial on how to use CPS with a DMR radio and remember if you're programming over the Kenwood port 
you need a cable that's specific to your radio. These don't work on all radios. So please remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and ask questions if you need any help. All right.